Hi there, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about upside down and why you want to look at your work upside down. Not you hanging upside down like a bat, but you turn your work upside down. And as you can see behind me, I, I do look at my work upside down, whether I'm doing something that's recognizable, some of my florals, the people, anything you could do to look at the negative space. One of the things that's so great about looking at your work upside down, and you've heard about this too, is that you see the negative space, you see the contrast, you see the color, not just the technical aspect of the painting, not what it really looks like, but more about the other side, more the art materials. Is that really the right color I really wanted to use in that space? And you get to look at it that way. And I have other techniques for you to, to kind of consider when you look at your artwork. So let's get started. I'm gonna do a painting and I'm gonna show you the other two ways of looking at your work upside down. So looking at your painting through this red plexiglass gel is one way of looking at your work. It, what it does, it makes it all monochromatic, gets rid of all the color, and you only see the darks and the lights. So they're called value finders. You get these things in the art stores, okay? They're great little things. Nice little gimmick, and it really works really well. So if you don't get yourself to the art store, hey, 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 we have the iPhone, and most of you know about this. What you need to do is a simple way of making sure that your painting is has all the right values is you take a picture of it. Take a picture of it, no matter of what phase, and then you switch it over to black and white. Boom, and there you see the blacks, the whites, the grays, and you see the values. Great tool to have in your studio. So whether you use the red plexiglass or, or this cell phone, I use it all the time to look at my landscapes, anything, just to look at values. So I'm working on a painting right now and I think we should get started. Upside down, it's the same thing. So I tend to work upside down so I can see the shapes, the color, and the values right off the bat. So these are other ways of getting the big shape down first. So here we go upside down. Now it'll be right for you. And as you can see it pretty quickly for me because I'm looking at shapes. Looking at shapes. Oh, nice. And I want to make the dress even darker. Big bold shapes just like that. And I want to find this color. I want this color to be a lot different. And see now I can see contrast. Because I'm not really seeing hair I'm seeing contrast. And this is an example of how I paint and why I paint upside down. You see? I don't know what it looks like to you, but I can see it as, as a painting that has the colors that I'm looking for. You see? Nice, nice. Yeah, cool. There we go. Whoa. I'm seeing, it's almost like an abstract painting to me at this point, because I'm only seeing color. Anyway, that's why I like to paint upside down <laughs> and, and uh, just looking at color and shapes. So it's another technique. It's just some way of having a good time in your studio. Hey, I hope you enjoy this one. It's all about being 
upside down and why not? You'll see it differently and clearly, I think, at least for me. I'll see you on the next Bob Blast. Can't wait to see you. Take care and keep painting. Hi there, I'm Bob Burridge, and this is all about date night with Bob. We just got finished doing one. See the paintings behind me? This is a two hour kind of a Zoom painting workshop is what it is. And we were painting for two hours. You can either do it along with me or you can sit back and have a, an adult beverage and watch at the same time. This is called a fun thing we're gonna be doing. We've done them already, so it's called Date Night with Bob. And don't you wanna do that on a, whatever nights we have? Check out the schedule. It's right behind me and we're going to be painting like crazy. I'll see you on Date Night with Bob. <laughs> Hi there, this is Bob Burridge. And I was just thinking, you know, in this time of separation and by yourselves and you're in your studio, I was thinking, I think we're all writing letters, love letters to everybody. And so I got another idea. So let's do another virtual exhibition. It's free, no jurors, and who wouldn't want to put out their paintings of their interpretation of love notes. Let me give you some ideas. It doesn't have to be hearts and flowers and all the traditional stuff. Expand your mind for, you know, I have made some notes here. Love notes, which could be the written word. It could be musical notes. Physical contact. <laughs> it could be hearts and flowers and champagne and candy and love letters. It can also be by yourself. Okay, just think about that. So it could be traditional or abstract. It's your interpretation of love notes. And as I like to say, show me your love, baby. So here's how to include your painting. Sorry, I had to read that, but I wanted to get it all down there. And this is going to be exciting, and I can't wait to see all your work. So I'll talk to you a little bit later about that. So get started. Love notes, your interpretation.